This video is a clip from Evaluate's May 2021 webinar, What Gets Measured Gets Done. This video is about how to measure equity, including example evaluation questions, indicators, and data collection methods. I think equity is one of the more difficult constructs to um, engage with as an evaluator and, and oftentimes as as a program or grants administrator. But here are some example evaluation questions about our thoughts about ways that you can formally and explicitly um, seek to measure equity. So one, how and in what ways are project leadership attending to equity? That's easy, right? What is the quality of the program design, content, and pedagogy as designed for various and diverse learners in this context? To what extent is the project differentiating instruction based on need? How and in what ways is the project ensuring that various populations have access to resources? Are key project components operating effectively? What is working well and for whom? And one of the things that whenever we, we talk to evaluators about measuring DEI, we are often asked, well, how do I make sure that I'm looking at this. How do I make sure that I'm shining the spotlight um, and not just looking at diversity, right? Which is a little bit easier. And again, th the way to do that is, is by adding equity and inclusivity and diversity specific questions. And of course, there are some outcome questions that can be useful and impact questions that can be useful when examining equity and diversity inclusion, but there's also some formative questions, right? That can really help um, the project think well about, especially to, if, if it's iterative or a multi-year project. And so lots of indicators to examine equity, right? Looking at um, external factors or threats and, and how they may differ across various groups. Looking at supports that are in place or access for a variety of groups. Looking at the diversification of services, depending upon need or depending upon population. Looking at the trainings that have been offered and taking, taken by um, programmatic or project staff. Looking to see if there's differences in compensation, right? Who gets paid what? Or who gets recognized for what as well, I would say. Um, criteria for selection, this is a huge one. Um, recruitment versus selection rates. Retention, and of course you wanna look at this disaggregated. Uh, disciplinary actions taking across um, various groups, right? And then looking specifically at curriculum and its di differentiation for various populations. And again, I mean, these, what we're talking right now are kind of broad indicators, but there are definitely more specific indicators that you can think about and, and you can assign metrics, turning these indicators into metrics, assigning them specifically for your own project. So a few more, GPA, um, mentoring, an amount and type, who gets it. Of course, looking at satisfaction, again, disaggregating that data, looking at percent of resources based on need and attendance to see if there's any differences across various groups. And so again, when we're thinking about recruitment and really for all of these, right, all of these example indicators on this slide, again, we wanna look at the way that we can look at equity, right? is look, to look for a differentiation, to look if there's differences in different groups that can't be explained away just by, you know, um, random chance. And so when we're looking at equity, again, some ways to look at this are similar to the ways that we um, collect data around diversity, surveys, interviews, focus groups, um, institutional or in administrative data, program documentation, but also observational data can help us see like what's happening and what's going on um, within the project. Thank you for watching this clip. We hope you enjoyed it. To learn more or to watch the full webinar, we encourage you to visit our website, evaluate.org.